When you turn on to Stanton Road from Suitland Parkway, there are three bus stops on this street alone. But it's this one in particular where the sidewalk ends and debris lies that neighbors want to see cleaned up right away. Try crossing the street along a portion of Stanton Road Southeast. We did with Malik Abdul. I mean, it is like the motocross speedway. Going uphill, there's one crosswalk. Many drivers zooming through it. You have to kind of play the, you know, the cat and mouse kind of game out in the street, and it's not something that's really safe. He and other neighbors are calling on DDOT, council members, and the mayor to make their street safer, especially the lone bus stop on one side of the street. What you're seeing now hasn't changed. Um, over the years, the, the sidewalk ends behind the stop here. So there is no other sidewalk, which is why we have to go on the other side of the street. Abdul says in his 20 years of living in this area, environmental improvements have happened, but the overall quality of life isn't keeping up with the pace of other parts of the city. We try to focus on quality of life issues, so it's not just about the things, the big ticket items, there are certain quality of life issues that impact um, what we do, much like this bus stop. On the first part of Stanton Road Southeast coming off of Suitland Parkway, there are three bus stops. Two of them have ample room for riders to stand, but an abandoned moped and shopping carts take up a portion of the small sidewalk where riders have to wait at the stop across the street. Fortunately, we were able to get a crosswalk back there, but it's still that crosswalk itself is still pretty dangerous because so many people speed up Stanton Road. Reporting in Southeast D.C., Megan Rivers, WUSA 9. And we've reached out to DDOT to see if they are aware of the concerns from the neighbors. As of this report, we have not heard back.